Okay, now try to understand the boundary between natural numbers and whole numbers. Now, the reason that there is a distinct uh, separation between natural numbers and whole numbers is when we finally uh, began to understand the concept of zero, okay, or try to define what zero was. Now consider this. One divided by 10 is point 0.1. One divided by 100 is 0 0.01. Okay. Take it further. One divided by 1,000 okay, is 0 0.001. You get the gist, right? Let's go a little bit further. One divided by 10,000 point zero zero. Zero, one. So you got four zeros, you got four decimal places with the one, okay? Now, think of a really larger number. Let's go way beyond 10,000. One divided by point zero, 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 zero. Continue it on, as much as you want. You're gonna get point zero, 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 one. Now, if you take it much further than that and say one divided by infinity, The eight, this loop that you've seen many people use all over places with symbols, uh, wherever you want. Now one divided by infinity, what you're gonna get is approximately equal to zero. And that's the sign for approximately, okay? So one divided by the biggest number you can think of is zero. And if you do a cross multiplication, the zero comes down, infinity goes up. 1 divided by 0, you're going to get infinity. Now, when they actually began to comprehend what 0 was, all of a sudden you had one simple equation here, which was talking about infinity and nothing. So mathematics, all these philosophers coming up and talking about, you know, God and existence and, you know, nothingness and all this jazz, it all began with mathematics. Hundreds of years ago, thousands of years ago, there was no such thing as philosophers. They were all mathematicians. And this was one of the first places that us as human beings began to think about what God might mean. One divided by zero, infinity. One divided by infinity is zero. They're the polar opposites of each other, okay? So you have zero in the middle as a pivot. You got negative infinity on one side and you got infinity on the other side. And zero balances both out, okay? So that is the major, that is the boundary, that is the defining boundary between natural numbers and whole numbers in the real number set that we talked about earlier, okay? So super important, zero, infinity, okay? Now we've talked about this, we'll go on and move on to uh, other things. Hope that made sense.